welcome to this quick video where I wanted to show you Trio Release 544. There are some very nice new features in the 544 release which I wanted to show you. So here you see the interface from the Trio 544 release, uh, very clean with the icons and the colors from Sky for Business. So you don't have to put any manuals next to the Trio all the buttons and coloring already speaks to the user itself how they need to use it. Also the whole menu has got cleaned up. So for example under dial number you can find here all the options to dial to participants. So first tab is through enterprise voice. We got here your favorites. We got here the recent calls you made but also the calendaring looks very nice with just the join button. So if you schedule a meeting through Outlook, you just walk into the room, you see here the invitations and you just join the meeting. Very, very clean. One of the exciting new features besides this new interface, new coloring, one of the new features I wanted to show you is the gallery view. So now in this release, we have the possibility to show all the participants in the meeting. So let me show you that. So here on the trio, we go here to meet now. And this means we're able to set up a conference on the Polycom unit. So now you see we are now in the Sky for Business meeting. And what is noted right away, you see here that all the options are now directly accessible but also on the left below, you see the layout button. So I'm now the only participant in this meeting, but let me now add some participants to this call. So what I will do is I'll do add, go to participant, I dial, and I dial. So I dial now to some participants in the call and let them join. Dial another participant in the call, Uh, some other participants, so now I'm dining this one and let them join also. So I'm joining now several participants in the call. Okay, I'm letting my own laptop join down. And what you notice right away is that all the participants are coming in now. So you see it's building up, all the participants around the screen are now built up. And I think this is very powerful. So you see here my laptop now, which is this one. And you see the active speaker is always as a speaker in the call being in the middle. And it's building up the participants here across the screen. So the Visio Plus was with the previous releases was an active speaker only and now you see with this new version we got the gallery view enabled so on the trio you see also all the participants here so you're able to mute them all add other participants and also specifically on participants you can remove them or you can mute them so you got all the options here directly accessible when you are in a meeting. Next thing what I wanted to show you is for example if you share content. So let's say if I want to share a presentation now. I got a presentation here on my laptop which I will show you. Present desktop here. We'll make the screen big. So what will happen on Trio the presentation is now placed on the top so I can also make it a bit bigger so it's full screen and here you go so you got the participants all underneath and the presentation at the top the nice thing is also here on the trio if you go back to the specific settings you saw also here the layout button so let me show you that if I click on the layout button you got here, the gallery is now on auto, and so you can put it in gallery view as it is now. 
But also, I can, for example, play with the other functions. So I could say full screen, for example. Let's say I want to have the presentation in full screen mode, which is now, or I want to put it in a picture in picture mode. And so now you see picture in picture on the screen. So you got right below, you got the last active speaker here on the screen. And the other function here is just the gallery view. So if I put it into gallery view, what you noticed, the system directly puts all the participants who are in the call in a gallery view format.